As intense fighting in Syria continues, millions of Syrian refugees now live in neighboring Jordan and Lebanon. Among the many agencies working with refugees in both countries, as well as in Syria itself, is ACT Alliance, supported by churches around the world. On the ground every day, ACT Alliance is meeting people's needs for food security, water, sanitation, education, and psychosocial support. The United Church of Canada is a member of ACT Alliance, and responds to ACT's calls for support by launching funding appeals within the denomination. In Northern Jordan, ACT Alliance and its members are working in the Zaatari refugee camp, which now houses 80,000 people. Because of the wars, they have to leave their homes, they have to leave everything behind. It's not because they like it, they, they don't like it. And they think they deserve dignity just like any other person. ACT Alliance's priority is to respect and maintain the residents' dignity through educational programs like this one for teenagers and young adults. These programs give the students hope and confidence, make them self-sufficient, and provide them with the skills they'll need to rebuild Syria when the war is over. Basma, who asked for her face not to be filmed, has taken courses in hairdressing, English, and youth initiatives. I benefited a lot from learning English. I was not that good, and now I'm better. I also learned cosmetics and initiatives to solve problems and raising awareness to be positive in society. Some refugees' lives are completely changed in Zaatari. Mohamed Alo arrived in Zaatari scared, single, and unemployed. Now he works as a psychosocial facilitator for one of ACT's member organizations. He also met his wife in the camp, got married, and has a second child on the way. He hopes to return to Syria when the war is over and use his new skills as a humanitarian worker to help his people. There's a duty of solving the Syrian problem, that's all. That's an effort of collaboration among the friends of the Syrian people. 